chillin' hollow tail crafted in the macabre mind of Robert Freeman. I got it in the car mind of Robert Freeman. Yeah. In the late 1700s, a group of settlers ventured deep into these uncharted woods, seeking to carve out a new life far from the growing colonies. Led by the charismatic Ezra Blackwood, they established a small community centered around a sturdy farmhouse. But the land was unforgiving. Winters were brutal. The soil poor and unseen dangers lurked in the shadows of the ancient forest. As their numbers dwindled, Ezra grew desperate. He ventured deeper into the woods, searching for anything that might ensure their survival. What he found was beyond his comprehension. Remnants of an older, darker civilization that once inhabited these lands. Ezra believed he had found the key to their salvation. He began performing rituals, promising his followers abundance and protection. At first, it seemed to work. Crops flourished and threats mysteriously vanished. But the price for such power soon became clear. The community was changing, becoming something inhuman. Ezra, driven mad by guilt and the dark forces he'd unleashed, decided on one final, desperate act. On a moonless night, Ezra performed a mass ritual, sacrificing the entire community to fully embrace the power he'd awakened. The ritual succeeded, but not as Ezra had hoped. The souls of the settlers were bound to the land, transformed into monstrous guardians of the dark power that now permeated the area. Years passed. New settlers would occasionally stumble upon the farmhouse, but their stays were always short-lived and often tragic. To this day, the farmhouse stands as a gateway to horrors beyond mortal comprehension. Those who enter, like John, face terrors born from a desperate act committed centuries ago. For in these woods, the past never truly dies. It merely waits, hungry for new souls to claim. 